All right, I'm recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today I'm coming at you boop, with a car vlog. So yeah, um, school's done for the day. So I decided to uh, strap on the GoPro and uh, show you guys around because uh, I also had to make a quick run into Walmart. So I figured I'd show you guys what, uh, what Kalamazoo is looking like right about now because spring has finally sprung. And uh, it's really nice out, finally. <laughs> I don't have to deal with any more snow, you know, knock on wood, or dashboard, I guess. I don't have any wood in the car, but yeah, done with all the, what was that, that was weird. Anyway, done with all the snow for now, hopefully, and so signs of spring are around, including cherry blossoms and plum blossoms, and, or apple blossoms, rather. So you got all kinds of trees in bloom, finally. And uh, the place looks great, man. So another reason why I wanted to get the car vlog going so you guys could see all this and uh, just kind of take in the springness. That is, oh geez, Kalamazoo. Come on, squirrel, looking, geez. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, a uh, lot's happened since the, uh, since the uh, April 2016 update video that I just put out uh, a couple days ago at the time it's recording. And uh, I just kind of wanted to go over some of the uh, the changes and stuff. Ooh, wow, look at those cherry blossoms, or I don't know if are they apple blossoms? Plum blossoms? I think they're plum blossoms. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the blossoms, there you go. So anyway, uh, lots, of ha lots of stuff has happened uh, since the uh, April 2016 update video that I just put out a couple days ago at the time's recording. Um, I might make a, uh, a separate proper part due update uh, in a separate video because this one's just a little car vlog. But uh, yeah, uh, one of the big things is that uh, when I made that video it was at the beginning of the month and uh, it took me a while to put it out because I was really busy with school and trying to find a job and all that that entails. And uh, I'm proud to say that as of yesterday, at the time of this recording, which was the uh, 18th of uh, April, 2016, whoop, um, finally gainfully employed for the first time since uh, being honorably discharged from the US Navy. So I got my first civilian job in well over five years. So that's pretty exciting. I'm gonna be working at McDonald's. I'm obviously not gonna tell you which one, but a McDonald's in the area and uh, yeah, I'm just really excited, man. Like, you know, honestly, I was very, very hesitant to uh, apply to fast food and all that kind of stuff. I just, I felt that, you know, I'd kind of grown up past that point and that, you know, in a way I was kind of too good, quote unquote, to work in fast food or do these little kitty jobs and stuff like that. And I wanted a big boy job, but you know, a lot of the big boy jobs were full time and they didn't really play into my schedule very well and they were all very far away, the majority of them in uh, Grand Rapids, which is about an hour north of where I live. So commute wise, that wouldn't work out very well, especially in the winter time. And that was one of the main reasons why I decided to look a bit more locally because uh, this past winter here, it was my first, uh, you know, winter here in the Kalamazoo area, and the first winter in Michigan even you know, that I've experienced in some time. And well, <laughs> even going further out, you know, it's the first winter I've experienced in America in a while, you know? Cause I mean, I, I, I would visit my folks and stuff like that for Christmas, but like, I'd only be there for a couple weeks. So like, I'd just be chilling and just like, ah, there's snow outside, ah, who cares? But you know, I gotta do, oh geez. These cars aren't letting me, oh wait, this guy's, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say cars aren't letting me through, but they are, so it's all good. Okay. So, yeah, you have to adapt to the Michigan way of driving, which is insane. You know, it's a lot more aggressive, like super duper aggressive driving. But uh, anyway, yeah, just dealing with this whole uh, winter and stuff like that, and dealing with, you know, a lot more snow than I'm used to. 
uh, really made me think about uh, getting a job locally because um, it's just, you know, if I would get a job like a town over or something like that, there'd be days where I'd probably miss work because I couldn't get there in time. Even with a nice car like this one, you know, it's got all, got a all wheel drive, um, you still um, got to worry about those kinds of things, you know. And plus, you know, heaven forbid something were to happen to this car because there's a lot of crazy Michigan drivers out there and uh, <laughs> they aren't as mindful of, Jesus fucking Christ guy. Yeah. I apologize if you don't like swearing, but fuck it, right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, there's a lot of crazy Michigan drivers out there and, you know, it may not even be my fault at some times because, like, this past winter there was an especially bad blizzard and I saw a lot of wreckage. A lot of just cars wrecked and stuck in the ditch and stuff like that and you know it just makes me glad that I got uh, all-wheel drive for this vehicle but of course the downside of that being uh, you know obviously more gas needs to be applied to this car even if you're just using it in normal two-wheel drive which is what I got it on now so but uh, yeah this kind of uh, safety net I guess comes at a price you know but it is what it is. But in any event, uh, moral story is I just wanted to get a job that was a bit closer to where I live. So that way, if something were to happen to my car or if the weather got extremely bad to where I couldn't, you know, drive to work, I could at least get there some way, somehow. Because Grand Rapids is a little too far for me right now. So, there's that. And uh, so, you know, it took me about, what, four and a half months to get a job. And, you know, I'd, I'd applied everywhere. And, you know, one of the things that I kind of regret was signing on for the winter, for like the winter slash spring semester. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened there? Anyway, <laughs> I, I just noticed that. I was like, what the hell? But uh, yeah, speaking of wreckage. <laughs> But, uh, da, 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 what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it just took me a long time to get this job, man. And uh, I'd applied at, you know, mostly retail and those kinds of positions. And they were just kind of ho-humming around. And I'd gone to a lot of interviews, uh, tailored my resume, stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of places around were pretty keen on wanting to hire a veteran. So that's, that's a plus. But at the same time, you know, I, <laughs> I didn't get the call back. So, eh, it is what it is, I guess. But, uh, yeah, now they got this job at McDonald's, ate a big, generous slice of humble pie, you know. But, I mean, it's not all bad. You know, it's just kind of my uh, mentality going into it was that I thought it was above doing a minimum wage job. But, you know, at this point, I just had to change my way of thinking in that, you know, I'm not going to be doing this for life. It's just something to get me through uh, college, get me through this period of time. And then uh, <clears throat> once I get uh, like an internship or something like that, I get like a, a true big boy job when I've earned it, then I can transition to that. But in the meantime, you know, I got myself a nice little gig, just a part-time gig because, you know, the, and this is kind of a, a, a misconception with a lot of people, you know, thinking about the GI Bill and stuff like that. And I, I want to get into a little more detail with this in like a, uh, a Life After Navy episode, just based on my own experiences. But uh, the, uh, the GI Bill, like the post 9-11 BAH, um, only goes so far. And, you know, you can, uh, <clears throat> there's ways to get around it. Like if you live in the dorms, you still get BAH. And, uh, like, obviously, if I lived in the dorms, this whole money thing wouldn't even be an issue. Like, you know, the vast majority of my expenses would not even exist because I wouldn't have to pay rent, wouldn't have to pay utilities, <laughs> none of that stuff. So, uh, yeah, but the thing is, you know, I, I just wanted to uh, have my own place, you know. Because I'm a very private guy, 
despite what you may see on YouTube and stuff, but you know. At the end of the day, I just want a nice place I can relax at and stuff. I don't need to be, you know, slumming in the dorms or nothing, none of that stuff. That's, uh, you know, that's the price I pay. But anyway, the whole BAH thing. So, uh, but he's just kind of spacey today, so I'm kind of going all over the place. But the BAH only covers, uh, it covers the majority of my expenses, but there's still a little bit, you know, left that, you know, BAH can't quite cover. You know, considering like cost of living and stuff like that out here. And, you know, I've done what I could to minimize my expenses, got rid of a couple extra online subscriptions, you know, like with WWE Network and stuff like that. Um, kept, you know, like I don't have, I don't have cable, I just have internet, which despite Charter Net, which is the local internet company, trying their damnedest, their damnedest, to get me to sign on for like the trifecta landline cable internet package for the low low price of 99 a month and it's just like eh, no like just give me the internet and if you can give me faster internet i'm all down for that but uh it seems like they only got one speed sadly so don't know if uh if there's any other cable networks in town or whatever but if there is you know might have to give them a ring but uh, anyway, so uh, anyway, I've been keeping my expenses and stuff down as best I can, not eating out as much as I used to, uh, and even when I do, just minimizing what I eat, you know, sticking more towards like the dollar menu sort of stuff instead of, you know, the extra value meals or whatever the case may be, just as an example. And then trying not to drive my car as much unless it's to places I absolutely need to go, like school, store, uh, stuff like that. Like I don't travel very far usually. But anyway, just long story short, I've been keeping my expenses really to a minimum. And uh, even still, you know, the BH only covers so much and I've been dipping into my savings and selling some stuff on eBay to, to help offset those expenses. And you know, I was starting to starting to run out of uh, valuable big ticket items to sell, you know, aside from my computers and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, just running out of stuff to sell, and uh, that's when I was like, you know what, fuck it, you know, I need money. You know, I might as well apply to local fast food stuff because I see, as you can see, they're fucking uh, they're fucking everywhere. So I did. Applied to a McDonald's and uh, they took me in. So um, I just got hired uh, yesterday at the time of recording. So uh, I don't have hours or anything like that yet. I have to still go through like orientation and crap like that. But I am hired, so you know that's nice. And uh, aside from that, like the weather is really good today and has been like all this week actually so that's really nice and uh, I'm finally able to do some more photography because you know I just <laughs> hasn't been you know aside from today which is pretty cloudy but you know yesterday was pretty clear so I was able to get a lot of good uh, pictures of the campus so if uh, you guys follow me on Instagram instagram.com slash the Andy uh, you'll see a lot of cool pictures of uh, campus, Western Michigan University, here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And uh, I'm going to be posting some more pictures that I took today as well, very soon, so yeah. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's just been great out today. And I just wanted to show you guys the area with all the blossoms and stuff in bloom and stuff like that because I know that they don't last very long so geez kind of scared me a little bit I thought but anyway yeah they don't last very long so uh, I just wanted to make a make a video of it you know whilst I'm going to Walmart because I gotta get a money order for rent which again you know <laughs> being that I had to sell some things rent I got a little behind on rent because of uh, eBay, like 
because the way eBay's got it now, it used to be like you sold something, you know, wait a couple days, once you got paid, you got paid, you know. But now it's like you gotta go through this whole verification system where you gotta wait, uh, I think like two to three weeks before you get your money. And it's just, I don't know. It's something that they changed in their fairly recent terms and services, at least from what I can remember, because like, granted I haven't sold anything uh, until this point, I haven't sold anything in a while, but I don't remember it taking quite that long to get your money. Usually, like maybe at most a week, you know, but yeah. <laughs> so, got a little behind in rent because the, uh, the money that I got from selling stuff didn't uh, go into my account as fast as I as I'd expected. So now I have to pay the price with late fees and all this other stuff, so I'd end up selling more stuff, and it's just nuts. Anyway, I'm just glad that I got a job now, so I can begin to climb out of that hole and, uh, you know, start, start new classes uh, next month, actually. I think the beginning of May is when I start my summer classes, so I get a little, I think, week, I think like a one-week break in between spring and summer classes. Sounds about right. So I'm still ab able to keep my BAH. And uh, the plan is just to uh, just to do summer classes, man. Like, um, I do want to do like a study abroad, but I'm not quite sure about that just because of, you know, uh, expenses and stuff like that. I'm gonna try to save up for it. All right, so yeah, I had to do a little turning around and look at this, uh, this ice cream shop. Looks pretty interesting. Might have to go there um, afterwards. So yeah, um, <laughs> I forgot that the uh, the right lane turned into the right turn only lane because they kind of sneak up on you like that. But uh, anyway, yeah. So uh, just turn right again and uh, carry on and uh, yeah man like uh, life's looking up right about now so I'm real glad for that you know I'm hoping to put some hours under my belt um, summer classes you know uh, I'm, I'm only taking two classes during the summer per uh, like summer semester because the summer semester is divided into like two parts. You got summer one and summer two, which combined make about the length of an actual semester. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so I've already signed up for summer one, uh, but I haven't signed up for summer two yet, because I gotta talk with an academic advisor and do all this, that, and the other. And uh, anyway, like I got a lot of stuff going on, and you know, I gotta save up, you know, get some money in savings again. Because, you know, with this whole not having a job situation, funny thing about that is, is you lose a lot of money in savings. You know, it's it's weird. I know. It's strange. But, uh, yeah, I just got to get that back up again. Um, you know, I'd really like to uh, do, like, a study abroad. I'm not sure how uh, viable that's going to be. I know that I'm going to have to work my GPA back up again because... Um, like, I got really, uh, I was really stressed out about not being able to find work. I was focused, you know, on trying to find a job, and I know my, my uh, grades suffered because of it, so I'm probably gonna, probably gonna catch a lot of hell for that. Um, probably gonna have to, you know, be put on academic suspension or something like that, you know, at least for the next semester. But plus side is, it'll be summer semester, so, I'll be able to get my GPA back up to standards now that you know I'm gainfully employed and money won't be as big of an issue as it was before. So that's nice. And plus, you know, the way the summer classes I got set up uh, so far for summer one, just two classes. I go in Monday through Thursday, and then you know Friday through yeah Friday through Sunday I got off completely. So that's nice. And uh, speaking of class, I'm uh, seriously thinking about changing my major as well. Because, you know, I've been at this whole uh, 
computer information systems, IT, business, sort of dealio for a while now. And it just isn't working for me, man. You know, I picked it because it was, you know, to me, the safe bet. You know, everybody's gonna need more IT people. You know, people that work in IT get like fuck tons of money and stuff, and that's great. But it's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's too hard, man. And plus, I'm just, you know, I gotta face facts. You know, I'm just not that into it anymore. You know, as far as like it being a career choice. You know, I take a lot of pride in what I've done online as far as, you know, establishing the Andy Son brand. I know it sounds super douchey, but, you know, I, I do take a lot of pride in that. It's, you know, been a long time coming and I think I should uh, invest more in doing that sort of thing. I think the, oh, there it was. <laughs> I thought, I always think it's the light, but that was actually one entrance to the Walmart. And, uh, but anyway, I'm th seriously thinking about uh, changing my major over to uh, like film studies and stuff like that. So this week, I'm gonna go talk with uh, the uh, communications school, or the communications department, I guess, and uh, see what we can do about that because you know, if this semester has taught me anything, it's that, you know, I don't like a lot of the business courses and stuff like that just because eh, it's just not my thing. I love business. I just, you know, it's changed a lot from what's taught in schools. So, yeah. Anyway, look at this Walmart, man. This is, it's been a while actually since I've seen a regular Walmart. This isn't a super Walmart. This is a ye olde basic Walmart. Like, I thought they stopped making them. You know? I thought that they died out a long time ago and that they were all super Walmarts, but not this one. This one's a holdout. But anyway, so uh, I'm gonna go inside and uh, get a money order for things as well as groceries and all that kind of stuff. So, with that said, this is the Andy Son. Sign up for now. Thank you guys boop, for tuning into this car vlog and for watching my other stuff. Also, want to thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.